taught art also for a few years, and I'm always kind of really encouraging my students, you know, not to get preoccupied with, oh, is it going to be good? Is it going to be bad? Or, you know, how are you going to judge this? What's it? You know, what am I being graded on? And, um, you know, so much about art is just finding a place for personal expression, and, um, you know, everyone's going to see a canvas differently. Everyone's going to relate to it differently, and everyone's going to feel, um, have different feelings kind of towards it. And I think that that subjectivity um, that's inherent to art is really, really important, and I think it's really exciting, uh, you know, to see you guys kind of exploring that and experimenting uh, with your own creative process. And the first thought that did come to mind, you know, was Andy Warhol, the great pop artist from the 50s, 60s, 70s, who, um, you know, created his Paint by Numbers, you know, the large kind of canvas pieces in which people were asked to kind of project the colors into them. You know, they weren't necessarily completed works, um, but they were meant to be completed by the audience, by the viewers. And that was kind of, you know, very much in line with what you guys were doing. You guys were kind of asked in this case to be an artist. And, you know, some of you I'm sure found that very exciting. Some of you probably found it quite daunting. Um, but, you know, by the looks of it, all of you guys kind of really experimented. And I'm quite impressed, you know, by the wide array and the diversity kind of of paintings that we do have up here. Um, you know, and specifically, I do kind of want to touch on a few that I think are kind of really exciting for, you know, different reasons. You know, here we have canvas number one. Um, first thing that for me, you know, comes to mind is the use of um, two different perspectives. You know, right away we are able to kind of read roads or a map kind of into this image, as well as the image of the car. And that was very much, um, you know, a modernist idea with someone like Picasso, taking kind of cubism and thinking about how can I, within one kind of painting, accomplish this idea of trying to get at two different points of view, um, or multiple different points of view, and, you know, within a single image. And in that case, I think this is an incredibly successful painting. I think that this, you know, artist definitely was looking at some Picasso, looking at some Cubist references, kind of before approaching it. Um, so that, you know, I'm very, very impressed by that. Um, you know, I just want to kind of move along here, you know, check out some other ones. Number three, we have this great anthropomorphic quality of the car. You know, here it is turning into a face. We got the little eyes and the teeth. I love that creative approach. In addition to the incredibly expressionist palette, the expressionist kind of movement, um, you know, of the brush strokes and not being confined necessarily, you know, to the, to the lines of the canvas and really, really just pushing, you know, what painting can be, um, how painting can exist and, you know, how we can approach, um, you know, creating a piece of art. And so, you know, excellent, excellent work, number three. Um, moving right along, number four, you know, the colors in this, the modulation, that's the word we tend to use, you know, the kind of interplay and the way in which one color is able to bleed into the next is quite, quite impressive. Um, you know, especially the way in which it touches on the lines of the car, the beauty of the line of the car versus the beauty in the lines of the horizon. Uh, you know, all against the backdrop of this beautiful Mercedes star, Mercedes Benz star, is quite, quite impressive. So, Thank you, number four. And this is a quite, quite beautiful piece. And, you know, moving quite along, there's other many art historical references you know, we can touch on with each different painting. I mean, here we have a very abstract, expressionist-inspired piece in which, you know, maybe a single motion or a single pattern is kind of repeated over and over again. And it's not so much about, you know, representing something in a way in which we maybe would expect to see it, but conjuring maybe the inner feeling, the inner anxiety, you know, of the artist. And in this case, you know, I think number seven really, really pushed it, you know, to that limit, you know, to that place where maybe you don't even know what you're painting, maybe you don't even know what you're doing, but that act and that kind of meditative uh, focus in the work is, you know, quite, quite impressive. So, you know, again, I mean, it's just such, such a great variety, and I can't help but also notice number 10 over there, which I just, I mean, I'm blown away. I'm totally blown away. I think, you know, the use, the color, the palette, the use, the perspective in which, um, you know, we are able to reach shadow, we are able to kind of get a sense of what this, um, you know, environment is, and then also asking us, hey, there's a Looney Tune, right? There's a little road runner character up in there, and, you know, again, that's a very pop art. You know, that's a popular reference, popular culture. Um, bringing it back, you know, into painting in addition kind of to the more, um, you know, maybe abstract or whatever kind of quality that has also come to it. And so, 
Yeah, that one, it's just, it's absolutely exquisite. I just couldn't, you know, this is pointing that one out. And just a quick reminder, we are asking you guys to vote on your favorite. So if you haven't yet, you know, pick up a card, check out the work, kind of think about, you know, what gets you excited, what gets you going, jot down your favorite number, and then hand it over to me. How many times and can you vote? We, uh, well, we're asking you guys to vote once, but, um, yeah. I, you know, uh, who's to say that there won't be a little voter fraud? I, I don't know. Um, but go ahead and hand me the card, and then later tonight we'll be announcing the winner, um, and there will be a prize, too. So, um, yeah, enjoy the night, and... Especially, and uh, our runner-up was actually number three, my personal favorite, and I, I must admit, it's true, it's number three. Incredible expressionist painting, great color, great anthropomorphic quality you got going with the car, fantastic job, thank you. Um, and now, our big winner was actually tonight number one, Javier! Congratulations, and Terry's gonna give you your lovely prize. And thank you guys. Thanks all for participating, and hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, enjoy the rest of your night.